Ever since that I got into DMT, I've really made a bit of a connection with the whole courage it takes to break through and how that kind of relates to a lot of things in life. And I, I started to kind of start to think that DMT, when doing it, it might actually make you a bit more likely to step through into the unknown for other crafts and other things that you're pursuing and things that might scare you in a certain sense but are vital for your growth. And I'll I'll get to uh I'll get back to a specific time where I first kind of pinpointed this. And this was back when my friend who was a, a gymnastics type person, he was teaching me how to do front flips on the trampoline, the the the, the bigger ones where you can actually do a, a jump and land it. And uh, I I was able to do the front flip, but the back flip, it always scared me for some reason. I, I didn't really trust my ability to be able to pull it off properly, and it scared me. And right away, I can see a, a very big relationship to that and trying to break through on DMT, because the some people, um, the, the whole breakthrough experience could kind of be... Uh, the same as trying to pull off a backflip and, and just going for it and, and trusting that the experience will will be okay because it's a growth experience. I didn't I didn't have that growth experience that I could have had by going for it and trying it because I was too afraid of, of the consequences of it going wrong. And that is something that I believe is what you're supposed to try to confront and what you're trying to overcome in life and every avenue of of um pursuit has that type of of fear and something something that's totally unknown to you and you don't know if you can handle it or not and i believe that the experiences with psychedelics and breaking through that's what you're kind of training to be able to confront in in all areas of life and I honestly think that that is the biggest essence of why it might uh, increase people's ability in, in things such as art. Um, I, um, I originally kind of pinpointed this when I was listening to the band Tool, and I realized that the drummer, Danny Carey, he would use psychedelics, uh, specifically DMT, to uh, advance his drumming in a certain sense. I, I, I heard that he uses it to come up with specific drum patterns. But, and the reason why this is probably true is because he also has a t-shirt line with a, um, it says Think Differently, but it has the app, instead of the Apple logo with the bite taken out of it, it's got a mushroom with a bite taken out of it, and it's supposed to reference the Silicon Valley uh, new microdosing and, and utilization of psychedelics to create more creativity and, and more productivity. And he really resonated with that, so he made a t-shirt line based on that. So he's definitely into that kind of uh, idea that psychedelics really enhance creativity. So I'm assuming that the rumors are true and that he uses DMT with, with the drumming to really get those complex uh, patterns and, and uh, really complex rhythms. And he he went down as pretty much the greatest drummer of all time, and and I gotta it, I can't help but thinking that psychedelics might have something to do with that. And if it, if he didn't really have that avenue of of being able to break through into those realms, that it wouldn't have made his drumming the way it is, or he wouldn't have had the experience to be able to to do that. And that's just my perception of it based on my own experiences. And I'll get more into why I believe that is. Um, for me, I, I noticed that this kind of theory also comes into play with even weight training. So I believe it was Frank Yang that talk, talked about this, and he's the YouTuber that's fitness slash um, philosophy slash mysticism and, and, and all that stuff. He's, he's really interesting. I, I really uh, admire him because he, he's a musician and an artist and uh, I, I kind of relate to him in a, in a certain sense. So uh, he basically was talking about how weight training and squats are kind of similar to breaking through on DMT. And I, I believe this is what he was talking about. It's, it's been a while since I've seen the video, so I don't remember exactly what he was talking about. But uh, I, I do remember him speaking on this. 
And for me, the specifically the squats, the 315, that is a level where it's kind of the same as what I mentioned with the trampoline thing, being able to trust that this the experience will go well and there's nothing to really be afraid of and all that's going to happen is you're going to grow from it. And you can you can just feel the the fear and and the doubt that you have when when you put that much weight on your body and and you just have to trust that you're going to be able to pull it off and not hurt yourself. And it's a it's a very daunting thing and and I always I always felt a similar sensation of lifting heavy weight and breaking through on DMT. I would I would feel as if I was prepping myself mentally and physically for it the same way that I prepped for my DMT breakthrough. I would I would even count down in a certain sense the way that I count down with the, with the DMT. So it's a it's a very similar a similar um, progression or or a similar act that that both reaches a a a similar result in terms of you're you're going into the unknown and you're trusting that your training and, and experience is enough to to go through with it and, and everything will be okay. And I believe that that is one of the crucial things that holds people back is not being able to, to confront that kind of thing. And I think that with DMT, if you're if you're using it in that way to, to break through and to really test your your fear of the unknown, I think that that is almost extremely beneficial to artists because that or even weight weight trainers I, I I think too it it it's basically the essence of willpower and and being able to strive for something great I think and I believe that that is an element that could make artists better at what they do is just being able to pinpoint on that type of breakthrough thing and obviously this is just a theory I'm not sure if it's true but it's been true for me I mean even with piano. There is a type of breakthrough that happens when you, let's say, you're tackling Hungarian Rhapsody Number no. Two by Litz. You you have to just know that you have what it takes to take it on because it's such a demanding and, and heavy piece, and and there's so much going on, and and you could easily tire out from it. But you just have to be able to step forward and and go with it. And the same thing with with performing. I recently performed La Campanella in front of an audience and I haven't done it for 15 years and I in my opinion I kind of bombed it just because I had no experience playing in front of audiences and I was going through a lot of depression throughout the time that I was supposed to be practicing so it was hard for me to really prepare for it but the fear that I felt was almost similar to again a DMT trip you know it was stepping into the unknown and and just trusting that it's gonna go well and it's and and or you're not gonna completely just bomb it and and die from the experience and I was very glad that I went through it I was I was glad that I had the courage to actually do it instead of chicken out and say oh I'm not gonna do this and I believe that that is something that we're trying to we're trying to overcome with the DMT experience and we're trying to train ourselves to to step through into that because that's where all the growth comes from. That's what we need to do to be able to become the person that we want to be. And I think that if you're not able to step through that kind of fear and that kind of difficulty, then success is going to be something that's very hard to achieve because you're not you're not breaking through. And and every almost every avenue in life it seems has that kind of breakthrough thing even with art um i feel as if when i'm when i'm tackling a really complex um digital painting that's psychedelic related or if i'm working on a portrait there's this breakthrough experience that you're you're supposed to pinpoint to be able to do it properly and to do it well and i believe that my experiences with dmt kind of helped me with that so this is kind of the response to someone who on my Facebook page who was asking me if my experiences had anything to do with my level of creativity and my abilities and, and talents. And I was said, uh, I, I definitely think it might. Um, it's, it, it seems as if I, did, if I didn't have these experiences, if I didn't train myself to really break through in that DMT style, then there was a lot, a lot of things that I would limit myself. I feel as if I'm less likely to put limits on myself just because I know that I can I can confront very difficult things and I and I and I've done it on a regular basis and I do it with weight training and I do it with piano so it's just I'm almost very 
I'm I'm very attracted to the idea of breaking through in any any task that I do and, and confronting the, the the very difficult parts of it and, and just taking it head on. And I believe that I wouldn't necessarily have that ambition and drive if it wasn't for the experiences that I've had with DMT. So that is pretty much my opinion on it. Uh, I don't know if other people resonate with that or have a same sort of view about the whole breakthrough experience and why it could be um, something that helps us grow as a, as a, as a person and, and helps us really be able to confront our fears and confront the things that intimidate us. Because I believe that in life, there's always going to be that specific barrier that you have to cross and that you have to just jump into and, and, and know that you're going to be able to handle it properly. And some people shy away from that. And it's a shame, I think. And um, that's basically what holds them back from being successful. I believe that if everyone were to break through in a certain metaphorical sense, they would experience the the success that they want and and the achievements that they're they're looking for but it's possible they're just holding themselves back due to fear the fear of the unknown i think but uh that's that's pretty much my thoughts on it i i definitely would love to hear what you guys think about that if 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 you believe that you know this this resonates with you uh if not you know let, let me know if you if you think that there's there's other factors that go into play with this but this has just been something that's constantly been on my mind and that i've kind of wrestled with the idea for for a while so um yeah i'd, I'd, I'd love to hear what you guys have to think and i will see you in the next video so have a good night